evening. I'm Lisa Pulowski. Thank you so much for coming out tonight. I know it's cold. I know it's New Year's Day. Happy New Year to all of you. And thank you so much for coming. We really appreciate it. Um, I would like to welcome Pastor Mahina to come up here and just open our evening in a word of prayer. And then following him will be our Pledge of Allegiance and uh, National Anthem. Buenas tardes, damas y caballeros. Um, good afternoon, um, ladies and gentlemen. Que Dios os bendiga a cada uno de ustedes. That the Lord may bless each and every one of you. Que bendiga esta reunión. And bless this uh, meeting. En el día de hoy, pues, se llevará a cabo what will take place on this day. Mi esposa, mi hija y yo, pues, venimos representando la Iglesia de Restauración. Uh, my wife and my daughter and myself come representing Church of Restoration. Y nos es un placer ser parte de esta gran ceremonia. And it's a great pleasure to be a part of the ceremony. Me gustaría citarle un, un verso de la Palabra de Dios. I would like to um, share a verse from the Bible. Se encuentra en el capítulo 127. Found in um, uh, Psalm 127. Verso 1. Verse de los Salmos. Of the Psalms. Esta es una prosa dedicada al rey Salomón cuando iba a ser postulado como como rey de Israel. This is a prose that's dedicated to King Solomon. Se le escribió esto. And this was written. Si Jehová no edificar la casa, unless the Lord builds a house, en vano trabajan los edificadores. In vain, um, the laborers. Si Jehová no guardar la ciudad, unless the Lord um, guards the city, en vano vela la guardia. In vain, the watchmen um, watch over. Es la razón por la que estamos aquí para orar. This is the reason why we are here to pray. Para que Dios bendiga, siga bendiciendo nuestras ciudades. So that the Lord may continue to bless our city. Que si está hermosa durante estos cuatro años, se ponga más hermosa. That's been so great these past four years. Y que todos juntos podamos cooperar para que esto se llegue acá. We can cooperate so that we can see this happen. Le voy a suplicar que cierren sus ojos y en reverencia al rey, al rey. I'd like to ask you respectfully to um, bow your heart. Meditemos and let us meditate en esta oración. In this prayer. Padre, gracias. Father, thank you. Por habernos concedido la oportunidad. For giving us the opportunity. De pedir bendición. To ask blessing. Por esta gran ciudad. For this great city. Gracias por los gobiernos. Thank you for the governors. Por las instituciones. For the institutions. Que llevarán a cabo una buena marcha. Who will go forth with doing good, good work. De esta ciudad. For this city. Te suplicamos que la bendiga We ask you that you would bless y que bendiga a sus moradores. And that you would bless the occupants. Que dé sabiduría. That you would give <coughs> inteligencia. Intelligence. Revelación. Revelation. Al hombre que está a cargo to the man that is de mantener el orden. To maintain the order. La limpieza. The cleaning. Y el engrandecimiento and the increase de la misma. Of the same city. Señor amado. Lord, estamos confiados we are confident que como estuviste con aquellos grandes hombres del ayer, that, yeah, just as you were with other great men in the past, como has estado durante estos 12 años con este hombre, and you have, you've been with him these past 12 years, bendiciendo, blessing, y engrandeciendo la ciudad, and increasing the city, lo continúes haciendo para gloria de tu nombre, we ask that you continue to do that for the glory of your name, para que seamos una ciudad mejor, that we may be a better city, con una población mejor cada día, with a better population. Hazlo por nuestros niños. Do it for our children. Por cada padre. For every, every por cada father, madre. For every mother. Por cada residente de esta ciudad. For every resident. Estos favores te los pedimos. We ask all these favors. En el nombre de Jesús. In the name of Jesus. Que le des salud. That you give him health. Y en su máxima expresión. In all of his expressions. A este varón. And to this man. Que va a estar a cargo. That will be in charge. De la ciudad. Of this city. Mil gracias. A, a thousand thanks. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Yes. Amen. Thank you. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, 
indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Oh, we can keep staying in international language, sorry. Not bad. <laughs> So proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming, whose bright stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming, and the rock is red glare, the bombs bursting in. That our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star spangled banner again wave for the land of the free and the home of the But I would like to invite up the Honorable District Magistrate, Judge Rashid Santiago, and we will swear in this in this historic time of the fourth term of Mayor Valley. Wow. Solemnly, solemnly affirm, do solemnly affirm that I will support, obey, and defend, that I will support, obey, and defend the Constitution of the United States, the Constitution of the United States, and the Constitution of this Commonwealth, and the Constitution of this Commonwealth, and that I will discharge the duties, that I will discharge the duties of my office, of my office of mayor, of mayor of the city of Allentown, the city of Allentown, Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania, with fidelity, with fidelity. All right. Congratulations. Many said it couldn't be done. Um, yet here we are. We're yeah. here today. Uh, today we are in a new city, a uh, growing city, uh, one that's in the midst of almost daily transformation. Uh, we are a city with proud families and neighborhoods with big hearts, a city filled with diversity, with energy, and with hope. 
You know, I was thinking back today, when I came into office 12 years ago, we were like every other Rust Belt city in the Northeast and Midwest. We didn't have jobs, we didn't have growth, we were on the brink of bankruptcy. 12 years later, we cannot say that. We've come a long way. We went from massive deficits to surpluses. We solved our broken pension problem. Uh, we're the only city in the Commonwealth that has a, a, a funded pension. Uh, we went from uh, massive crime rates. We've now seen 10 straight years in a row of decreases in crime. Uh, our city is growing massively. We have over a billion dollars of new investment, thousands of new jobs. Uh, and we are now the fastest growing city in the state of Pennsylvania. And we did it all without raising property taxes one penny in the last 13 years. We are a city that has put aside its limitations. We are embracing possibilities. Uh, and this election is also a testimony in making the impossible possible. Uh, as I look out at this audience, and all of you who are here, all of you who are coming in, uh, I'm humbled. I am truly, truly humbled. Humbled by so many of you who put their faith, their trust in me, and have elected me to serve once again as mayor. And I realize I didn't get here alone. Uh, so many of you, as I look out, worked hard every single day uh, for the last six to seven months, making sure that this day would come. Uh, and to all of you, I want to say thank you. Uh, I, I mean, I, I can't even begin to name some of you, but I'm going to just a few. Uh, Rodwan. Uh, Rodwan walked with me. Probably, I, I don't know, uh, I think we did like 600 miles, 1,200 houses that we knocked on doors, or 12,000 houses, I'm sorry. And uh, I think Ms. Phoebe was there along with probably most of it, at least 8,000 of those houses. Uh, she did it in high heels too, I don't know. <laughs> uh, but uh, there, there's just my, my campaign staff, I see Jessica and uh, Jessica and Millie and uh, and Lucy and Ashley, uh, uh, all are here, and, and, and uh, Nino is here as well, as, as well as Lucy in the back was always there. Thank you all, thank you all for, for your involvement. Uh, I also want to say thank you um, uh, to so, so many uh, who are here. So, so many uh, that I need to thank. All of you have taken your time, put your energy and your commitment and your trust in me. Uh, and know that every day I'm gonna to continue to work uh, I'm going to continue to work hard to earn that trust and to lead this city to a brighter future. I will continue to listen, I'll continue to learn, and I'm going to continue to lead. Uh, and that is the promise I'm going to make to each of you and every one of you tonight. But there is one person I want to single out, uh, a person who stood by me uh, through all my elections, a person who's been my sounding board, my cheerleader, my advisor, my closest friend, counselor, my psychiatrist, uh, and that is my wife, Lisa. Uh, to her, I want to personally say thank you. Uh, to Lisa, my daughter Mercy is here, my son Alex, my mother-in-law Marlene, thank you for all your support, your patience. Uh, to our new and returning members of City Council, I know some of them I saw walked in. Uh, I just want to say um, I'm looking forward. I'm looking forward to working with, with you individually and collectively uh, in this coming term. Uh, now that this is a long-fought election process, and it was a long-fought one, and it's over, uh, we're no longer counting ballots. And we can start counting what unites us, and that's the causes that we believe in, uh, the challenges that we have to tackle together as a community. Uh, we may not always agree uh, on how that should be done, but we do agree on the basic premise of making Allentown a better place to live for our residents, a better place to work, a better place to do business, and a better place to play uh, for those who visit our city. You know, in my first inaugural address, I told people of Allentown that it was time to, to take on new challenges that threaten our future, from strong schools to safer streets, to stable finances, to, to urgent need to create jobs and economic growth. And while we have made, I think, significant progress in each of these areas, we still have a lot more to do. Uh, and this, without a doubt, I think, is one of the most difficult times to do it in. Uh, it's probably the most difficult time in our nation's history to govern a city. Cities are being attacked and assaulted almost at every single level of government. Major cuts in funding for services, unfunded mandates, restrictions on how we're even able to govern ourselves uh, make it already difficult job 
that it is to govern a city this size uh, even more difficult and almost impossible. Uh, on top of this, we find ourselves in this troubling time in our country uh, and in our state. Uh, a new kind of, of venom, I think, has affected our politics. In Washington, D.C., there's no appetite for compromise, no interest in working together for the good of the people. The other uh, is the competition. Uh, someone ha has to be beaten and, and not worked with. In Harrisburg, things are not much better. At times, our representatives value their primary electorate <coughs> above all else, and they cater to their extremes in their gerrymandered districts. And if anybody ever looked at a map of, Her of, of the state of Pennsylvania, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, either you are with me or against me. The other is not to be trusted. It has all created a type of boogeyman politics, I call it, uh, motivated by unfounded fears and discrimination against the most vulnerable citizens that we have. But to the residents of Allentown, I'm going to say this. Rest assured, <laughs> danger doesn't lurk in our public restrooms. Uh, our Latino brothers and sisters are not criminals. And our local police officers have far more important things to do than to act as immigration agents. In these troubling times, I believe that we conduct ourselves as leaders of major American cities, that we are being looked upon as leaders in America as never before. We, the elected leaders of municipal government, are the closest to the thing that the voters and taxpayers will ever see to a truly elected official. We are the ones that have the most direct daily impact of our constituents and their quality of life. And the world is starting to understand this, uh, that at a local level, that's where progress is being made. If you look at cities across this country, across this globe, when you look at what's happening on a progressive level, when you see things that are happening in economic development, in housing, in human rights, it's happening at the local level. It's happening in cities. Cities across the state, cities across this country. It's at the local level where, where we keep people safe, where we create jobs, where we build opportunities. And I believe this government, and when I say that, I mean city council and the administration, will rise to meet those challenges. If, and it's a big if, we work together, if we embrace those that aren't like us, and if we, we have different thoughts than us, and if we lead by showing tolerance and equality and respect for the other, nothing, and I mean nothing, will be impossible for us as a city. We will radiate a new politic that will attract individuals and businesses to invest in the city. People will look to us. They will be attracted to Allentown to come here to build their business, to live and raise their families. We will expand opportunities so that it reaches every person in every corner of our city. We will protect and grow our sense of community because that's the greatest, greatest source of strength that we have here in Allentown is our sense of community. And we will ensure quality for all, no matter your age, your religion, your race, or your sexual orientation. Together, we can create a new Allentown. An Allentown that is the hub of opportunity, that's the hub of community, that's the hub of equality for all. Now, these are big goals, I know. But President Lincoln said the best thing about the future is that it comes one day at a time. You know, the story of Allentown shows that by working together, we can overcome any challenge. Through our collective hard work, Allentown has a bright future. Together, we have made tremendous strides, and we've done that in a number of areas. We've made challenges and, and created challenges and turned them into opportunities, and we've laid a solid foundation for the future of our city. Now, do we have a long way to go? Absolutely. Will we have setbacks in this rebuilding process? Absolutely. But working together, we will continue to rebuild our economy and set a new foundation for the city. And I am inspired every day as I walked out there and I knocked on those 12,000 doors, as I see many of your faces, as I came to your houses and your communities, I am inspired by the people of our city, by your hopes, by your dreams, and by your determinations. And I'm gonna tell you that I'm listening, and I'm gonna keep listening. And through our collective hard work, we will continue on a path to a better tomorrow. I'm proud to be your mayor, and I want to thank you for your confidence and your encouragement with me. Thank you all. God bless our city, and God bless the city of Ellen.
puts us in prayer, and believe me, prayer has been something that has carried us through the last 12 years, before that, and every day to come. So it's so important to us to begin and end in prayer. Yes. All right, why don't we um, stand up since we're closing and um, we stand before the Lord and this precious moment. Father, we thank you. You can rest knowing that all power belongs to you. You're the source of all authority and all greatness. It flows from you. You're the fountain. And so we, we just rejoice, Lord, that in this day we see an expression of that, Lord. Right here, Lord, in this room. Order. Governing. Lord, all that comes from you. And so we invoke your presence. We invoke your blessing. We invoke your wisdom. Father, upon uh, Mayor Palowski, Lord, the city council, and every, every, every person that is involved in any capacity, Lord, to lead and direct this city, Lord. We, we need your grace. We are nothing without you. Jesus, you said, apart from me, you can do nothing. And so, Lord, we, we are recognizing our deep need for you. Thank you, you have been so faithful in these 12 years. Thank you that despite, Lord, all of our shortcomings, yet you remain faithful. Thank you, Lord, that you will continue to bless and prosper this city as we follow you and as we trust you. And so we, we simply humble ourselves, Lord, and Lord, this afternoon to recognize that you are the Lord. You're the King of kings and the Lord of lords. And so we ask you for wisdom. We ask you that you would help us to, Lord, govern Lord, that you would, we would be a wise people. We pray for your utter glory and blessing to be upon our Lord, our precious mayor. That you would just strengthen his heart, strengthen his hands. Continue to infuse him with great vision, Lord. For all things are possible to him that believes. And so, God, we thank you, Jesus, for all that you are. We, we ask your blessing that you would be, Lord, in this administration, in every part, for the glory and the honor of your great name. Lord Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you again for coming. We really appreciate it. Uh, there are some wonderful restaurants that have come and uh, donated some food to eat. So please have a bite, have some fellowship and uh, discussion, and let's get to work. Thanks so much.